the tip today. You might want to just give up on the idea of six to eight hours of sleep and instead take your naps as needed. Uh? I've been a lot more productive myself and every time I get caught up on the six to eight hours of sleep, I start fucking up everything else. Hell yeah, it's about goddamn time. Yo, it is National Single Parents Day. That's all I even got to say. Clap it up for these kings. King's news is whatever made you stop scrolling through your phone or made you laugh out loud today. So I'm scrolling through the phone trying to find something to do. And I hear somebody on Clubhouse saying how Chat GPT wrote this business plan for them and they've taken off. Wow. Wait a minute. Let me jump on that shit too. So I <laughs> download this particular I chat, chat GPT on my Android phone. Now, did it make me a business plan? Hell yeah. And since I've heard so many stories about chat GPT, which is an artificial intelligence, it may advise you things like to divorce your wife. <laughs> It may advise you things like you ought to quit your job and try something new. There's all kind of crazy stories about how the AI does. But it definitely wrote me an awesome business plan. And when I apologized and said, please, it gave me perfect examples. Oh, yeah, I'm about to take off. I have 90 day coaching programs for anybody dealing with a wheelchair or bed bound. Number one, I wrote down, I learned a new trick. My wife taught me a new trick. You can add, you can take that bitter, sour, non-sweet wine, those Cabernets and shit like that, that Pinot, Pinot Grigio and shit like that. I'm trying to get better at wine, people. I'm trying. I'm trying. Give me, give me have a little bit of patience. So you can take those bitter, sweet, sour, non not good ones. And you can put champagne in them bad boys and girls. Like a floater. Almost like you make an alcoholic drink and putting a floater on top. The champagne, add that to the wine. This makes the whole thing taste better, not just sweeter. Y'all know how medicine can be. Medicine can be sweet and nasty as hell. So, um, the next thing is... This is how my wife and I stayed up to watch the Chris Rock special. I'm grateful for that because I really needed to write a review, do a review of the Chris Rock special for the blog. This is a professional stuff. This is how I am working my professional stuff. Yeah, so that's the gratitude right there. That I had wine with the champagne and that's what helped me power through and get through that Chris Rock Netflix special. And I haven't, still haven't finished the, the blog for it. Still haven't done a full review of it. I need to get that done. I'm telling y'all this right now. This was the first time ever I was not impressed by a Chris Rock comedy stand up. First time ever. To me, he is one of the greatest of all time. But dog, I was not impressed by that new one on Netflix. No, maybe it's because they changed some shit up, took some shit out by the time we actually saw it, but I wasn't impressed. I'm still grateful that my wife taught me how to put the wine. She showed me how to put the wine and the champagne together. I'm end up abusing that shit. I, I know I will. I know I will. But I'm going to abuse it for good reason. I'm going to abuse it for good reasons. Gratitude number two. Moving on to my second gratitude. So, I have a name for this wheelchair now. I got a name for this Dalton big ass wheelchair and i'm naming it optimus prime from the transformers movie 1986 if y'all know about transformers i really can't help you that's one of the greatest cartoons greatest shows ever created transformers so i have the transformers because this thing is so big and it's red i've been knocking this wheelchair quite a bit since i've got it this is like my second second week using it every single day coming Second week using it every single day. And I've been knocking it for several reasons. But my daughter found a pouch on the back of this mug, on, 
on the seat back. And that makes, that is a game changer that she found a pouch on the back of this mug. Because one of the reasons I was knocking is because since there's no, since there's no basket underneath, no cup holders, anything else, you got to put everything, you got this one hand free, and you got to put everything else in your lap. Man, I'd be fucking up doing that shit. Having food, um, the phone, drinks, paper, pens, I put everything in my lap, have it all part of a bush up, I'm trying to hold it with this hand. And get around the house and navigate and everything like that. Because she found that pouch, I can now put the pouch in the back of the wheelchair and make sure the phone does not get messed up. Oh, snap. Yo, what's going on? A thousand thank yous for rocking with me. Sliding in. So now I can put the phone in the back of the wheelchair. And that's where the gratitude comes from. The phone will not get messed up. Less likely to mess the phone up. And that's what the gratitude is. That whole story is because I can put the phone now in the back of the wheelchair and now I ain't gotta worry about the phone messing up. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, this wheelchair, dog, I be having everything right here. Everything, stage dropping stuff and messing stuff up. And on top of that, I'm still not the best at driving it. So all that, when you reverse and go to the right, you gotta press to the left. When you reverse and go to the left, you gotta press to the right. It's big on the, never mind all that. I'm grateful. I am grateful that there's a pouch on the, on the seat back so I can keep my phone safe. And the last one, the third gratitude. My developer woke me up at one o'clock in the morning because he needed the API key for YouTube on the website. I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Let me change that because I even wrote about this. Let me just read what I wrote. He sent a whack ass video to instruct me on how to get the API key for YouTube for the website. Good thing I have done the API key thing before. I had a developer before. The developer before was a lot nicer, a lot nicer. So the good thing I had the guy that done it before, I knew how to start. I had no idea like how to finish it, how to actually get the key. I just knew it had something with doing to go into Google Console. So I knew where to start it. Then I went to the old developer's email and got his better video. The first guy, the guy who woke me up at one o'clock, sent me a 15 minute video on how to get the API key. 15 minute video at one o'clock in the morning. Dude, you fucking crazy. One o'clock in the morning, you got you need this API key right now to finish doing my shit. But 15 minutes, hell no. I don't even like watching movies. 15. The, the normal thing that we do around here is that 15 minutes in a movie, 15 minutes into a show. If it ain't good, turn that shit off. Turn that shit off. So you send me a 15 minute video, dog. No, I'm not I'm not doing that shit. So um let me finish this up. Found a better video and then I got the whole thing done. This is the this should be the last step that Dan developer needs to finish to finish the project. Need their project finished, man. I really do. And then my whole podcast will have its own landing page with its own business inquiries and all of everything attached to it. Good for you, yeah, King. He is better. He putting together a landing page. For this podcast right here, Mindset Over Bullshit University, but waking me up with a 15 minute video to watch and this emergency got to be done now. Good thing I knew some shit and good thing, but I usually be trying to erase stuff. The fact that I still had the old developer stuff and his emails and everything else, that shit has saved me quite a few times. Not the new developer. The old developer. So shout out to him. Shout out to my damn self for keeping up with all the stuff. And that is how you do a gratitude journal. That's how you do your three, your three stories of why. You write down why you're grateful, not what you're grateful for. That's how you do it. Y'all be pretty. Stay grateful. Remember, write out these gratitude stories. Do this shit every day. Build the process. This is a process. It's called a process because by repeating it, you get better. Writing out your gratitude journal stories, you get better. 
You get better, you get better, you get better. And that means you have less negative thoughts. See y'all next time. I will be with y'all tomorrow. This is your boy Kendrick and I am signing off.